Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here, and I've had a couple of people ask me about how to install the Black Ice mod, so it's going to be a quick down and dirty thing. So, if you have a different installation of Black Ice before 8.5 that's currently out, and you delete it, and you have the issue that keeps on saying that Black Ice is already installed, go into My Documents, Mine's in My Documents, go to Paradoctive uh, Interactive. Wherever Steam puts it, typically this is in my documents. You're going to go to Hearts of Iron 3, this Black Ice folder, delete it. So this is what's being detected when it tells you, oh, Black Ice is already installed after you uninstall it. So make sure that's there. So you go through it, obviously you're going to go to Paradox uh, Forums. Right now you're going to grab the... Black Ice Installer 2.0 Zip, it's the one I have here. It's the network installer, so it's going to pull it off. It's going to pull all the files from the internet and put it on your computer. So what it looks like, is when you open it, you just have this .exe file. Go ahead and put that directly where you have your extra uh, Black Ice file. Mine is in and the um, an external or not an external but a SSD by itself. I've pulled over a brand new Hearts of Iron since this works independently from Steam. So I pulled over one from Steam, just copy pasted it, took it, and I put it straight in here. Black Eyes Installer Execute. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you put when you install this. We're going to have this come up. The biggest thing with this now is you go next, next. When you put it in destination folder, uh, let's see if mine will actually allow me to do it. Okay, well, it'll be an issue uh, for me because I had to put it on the desktop to load it in there because mine loads uh, slow. Biggest thing is you don't want this. Uh, sorry, I'm typing with one hand because I had surgery. So you want it to have like this, so then it puts all, everything in the folder itself. If you end up with something like this at the end of it, it is going to create a separate file altogether, and it's going to put it in its own folder, and it's not going to work. So this is the biggest thing. You have to make sure it's going straight into the Hearts of Iron 3 folder, and being installed straight into that. Obviously with with the Black Ice, it runs straight off their finest hour. If you don't have their finest hour, it's not gonna work. Uh, so running in that, the biggest thing to know if you've done it right is you'll see these two. The Black Ice Quick Launch and Black Ice Panzeru uh, by Panzeru Executable. Essentially, this Black Ice Quick Launch, just quick launch the game straight through. This gives you a little menu thing before you're like, yes, I want to launch Black Ice. Another thing is I've noticed that my game crashes, uh, particularly at startup, with such things as uh, fucking... I'm making a video, hold on. That it... it crashes at startup because you're not using enough memory. So how you do that, you go over to anticore.com, uh, you get this explore suit. And don't worry, it's not malware of any kind. <laughs> so it's gonna pull up your uh, explore suit, that's what it does. So you're gonna then open their finest hour executable. It's going to load it in here. So, not sure what any of this stuff means. I mean, this is what it is. The biggest thing you want to find is the file header. You go to characteristics, and you say this app can handle uh, more than two gigabytes of address space. So, with this being unchecked, 
it's that two gigabytes, once it goes over, it crashes the executable and it crashes the game. Because, well, Hearts of Iron wasn't designed to play over two gigabytes. So you're going to put that in there. You click that. Press OK. You go back through and you'll save over the executable, essentially. Uh, you might get, uh, no, because mine's good. You might get a crash at startup once if it's black ice it typically does that but when you do load in the checksum you'll be fine from there if you have any questions go ahead and comment below and tell me uh, and i will try to make it as more clear as possible that's a quick rundown to it there's certain issues you may have that if you have these issues just go ahead and tell me and i can try to figure that out for you so thank you guys